Hi, this is Josh, your EdTech Spec, um, and today what we're going to look at is a Google Docs add-on called Highlight Tool that is great for text annotation. Um, it has lots of uses, and it's not just because it speeds up the highlighting process in Google Docs, which can be a little bit cumbersome. Um, before I get started, I want to say there are other products that might look a little more polished out there or you may be familiar with, but most of them the one main one I'm thinking of has a 30-day trial and then it's uh, most of its features go away. Uh, I've been showing Highlight Tool at conferences and using it for over a year and a half now and it's um, or over a year now and it's it's been free the whole time. So um, one of our main uses is going to be for text annotation and if you look at the screen you see I've already got it open. If you're not familiar with Google add-ons, um, they live in Docs, Sheets, and Forms, and uh, they live in the add-ons menu. And you can see I've got quite a few, but if you need to go get it, um, it's this one. It's simply called Highlight Tool. And in fact, when you uh, look at it in the store, in the add-on store, it looks like this if this will load. So here's what the little icon looks like. It says highlight tool. Um, if you didn't already have it, it wouldn't say manage. It would say free. So how we start it is we just go to add-ons, click start, and as you see it will load the panel there for you. So <clears throat> this is just its, its basic functionality which is two parts is the first thing here is you have these highlighters but these can all be defined so what you do is you simply click on it and if I wanted to make this um, you know this dark purple and change thesis to main idea I can do that um, or if I wanted to get rid of this highlighter altogether I could just click delete and then I click save and there you are it's saved now that that highlights not going to work very well so you've got to pick colors that that make a little more sense so I'm gonna go ahead and edit that again and I think uh, it was on strawberry so that's the other thing if you're not a Mac you're probably gonna see this color wheel um, or a Chromebook you'll probably see the color wheel uh, being on a Mac I am a fan of uh, I am a fan of the crayons so I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to strawberry I'm going to close that. On the Mac, you do have to close the color wheel between incidents. So, and I'm going to change it back to thesis, but um, that's how you change the colors. So, and then here's what your students or you would do. So, let's say uh, we think this is the main I or, or, or our thesis, and then um, uh, here's some supporting evidence. I'm going to go ahead and just do some highlighting um, just to give us some examples. Okay, so as a student, now we've got our whole document annotated, and that was much faster, and we have them all labeled here, but here's the next cool thing, is you can now export the highlights by sequence or by color. So let's take a look at by sequence. So what this is doing is it's generating a whole new document for us, and it's sent giving us a link to the new document. You'll notice it's called stored highlights they're all ca called stored highlights so it might be a good practice um, to rename the document but you see it's included the label key here for us and it's broken out our highlights 
um, kind of almost like a um, Cornell notes, but it, it hasn't included the whole thing. But this way is um, a nice way to keep them sort of in sequence. Um, we could do the same thing by color. And again, it would it's creating a new document for us. And it's called Start Highlight, so when your students use it, um, you're gonna have they're gonna have to rename the documents. But you see the labeling key again, and if we scroll down here, as soon as the document's done loading, um, you see these are sorted by color. The first one was in order that they occurred in the original document. Here, um, it's pulled out the main thesis, which there was only one thing, and then all this supporting evidence. And then all the bias we said we, uh, we found in, in the writing, the key concepts that were there, and then the conclusion. Um, when we have it by sequence, it's, um, it's in the order that it appeared in the document. And those are the main features of Highlighter Tool. Um, in other videos, I'm going to explore the Highlighter Library, where you can set, set store sets of, of highlighters and show you how to uh, export a set so you can send a document to your students and they will with your colors and labels predefined and they can just bring them in and store them as a set for you. So I hope uh, you see how this can help you with uh, text annotation. If you combine this with um, the comment feature in Google Docs then um, I think you'd have some pretty powerful text analysis and text annotation going on. Uh, thanks for watching, and happy Googling.